Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Shora and I welcome you all in this our next series of video lecture. In today's video lecture we will study about uh, high starting torque in square root cage induction motor. In case of square root cage induction motor we know that uh, starting torque is lower compared to wound rotor type of motor but we are applying certain different methods to achieve high starting torque in square root cage induction motor also. So high starting torque how we can achieve high starting torque in square root cage induction motor. We know that uh, in case of uh, slip ring type of motor we have possibility to connect external resistance along with the rotor winding during starting condition. So at the initial stage higher starting torque can be achieved very easily. So normally we apply slip ring type of induction motor where our application is such that high starting torque is required. But uh, because of some complications in construction, in maintenance, we always uh, refer or recommend square root cage induction motor normally. So the disadvantage, one of the disadvantage of uh, square root cage type of induction motor is uh, high starting torque is not possible because uh, rotor resistance is short circuited and uh, fix rotor resistance. So if we increase the rotor resistance then we achieve high starting torque but at the same time during running condition I square R losses that is upper losses will also increase and it will adversely affect our efficiency. So this is one of the main disadvantage of uh, square root cage induction motor but uh, because of its simplicity we use a square root cage induction motor and if high starting torque is required we apply certain method to achieve high starting torque in case of square root cage induction motor also. The first method that is we use double cage type of rotor and second method that is a deep bar type of rotor. We will study one by one both the method because external resistance cannot be connected at the rotor side in case of square root cage induction motor. So we start with double cage rotor. So just for comparison we are giving single cage rotor one of the slot is uh, shown in the figure this is a rotor and a rotor slot one of the rotor slot is shown in case of single cage rotor the rotor condition slot condition is like this while in case of double cage we have slot but it is different to single cage rotor so double cage rotor is shown in the figure so we have inner cage, we have outer cage. So both the cage are different by construction and both are separated through a very narrow slit. In slit we have air and both the cages are separated through the slit. So this type of construction is a uh, very important and uh, now we'll study about uh, how starting torque uh, higher starting torque can be achieved so now uh, let us see how the construction and uh, how we can achieve the higher starting torque in case of double cage type of rotor so as shown in the figure we have two cages one is upper cage and one is lower cage or sometimes we 
call it inner cage and outer cage. So upper cage that is the outer cage that is uh, near to the surface area of the rotor, uh, rotor core and uh, the lower cage that is uh, also known as inner cage. So in upper cage or outer cage we have constructed in such a way that uh, high resistance and low reactance while in case of uh, inner cage we have resistance is low but reactance is high now during starting condition when we start the induction motor frequency is uh, almost similar to the supply frequency because speed is less now meaning is frequency is very high almost equal to the supply frequency so the reactance depends on our frequency so current will take where we have a low impedance now in case of outer cage resistance is high but reactance is small so obviously the impedance of the outer cage will be less during starting condition at the same time in inner cage resistance is low but reactance is high so during starting condition because frequency is high impedance of the lower cage will be high so obviously current will take or select a path during starting condition from the outer cage so in outer cage because impedance is low but resistance is high so our starting current will be less and starting torque will be higher during starting condition because of higher resistance in outer cage we have achieved higher starting torque while running condition when speed is almost near to synchronous speed so frequency is very less so reactance will be very less so now again if we compare impedance during running condition so in outer cage reactance is low frequency is less but resistance is high so impedance will be higher while in inner cage we have resistance low and because of less frequency again a reactance will be less so overall impedance in inner cage will be less during running condition so current most of the current will pass through the inner cage so during running condition because of low resistance our copper losses i square r losses will not be compromised will be less so efficiency will not be affected so this way while using double cage type of rotor we have both the possibility to achieve high starting torque during starting condition and we have a possibility to achieve higher efficiency even by reducing the copper losses so this way we can use a double cage type of rotor this is also one of the construction and uh, leakage flux and linkage of the flux is shown in this figure so this is our uh, one of the laminations with uh, inner cage and outer cage construction so resistance are fixed but uh, uh, how it is uh, constructed it is shown in this lamination and we have speed torque characteristic we have we are assuming that uh, because of both the cage we have different uh, starting torque if we consider resultant torque then it is a uh, addition of both the torque generated by both the cage differently as we discussed during construction inner cage will give low resistance so starting torque generated by the inner cage 
will be less most of the starting current will be through the outer cage and because resistance of the outer cage is higher so starting torque generated by outer cage that will be higher and as a resultant addition of both the torque that will be indicated a resultant torque and we can see that a resultant torque starting torque is higher now if we observe during the running condition torque generated by outer cage is reducing because most of the current now passes through the inner cage because overall impedance of the inner cage during running condition is less so inner cage will be in operation and it will show our normal standard speed torque characteristic by designing appropriate bar resistance in outer as well as in inner cage desired speed torque characteristic can be easily achieved in double cage also desired based on the application desired speed torque characteristic can be achieved our second method that is a deep bar rotor type so if we see the construction we have slot is a deeper slot compared to our normal slot here we have a deeper slot in case of deeper slot we have resistance element as shown in figure we can see resistance a b c so during starting condition because of uh, high reactance the flux linkage with the individual element so we can see that at the bottom side we have element c and maximum flux linkage that is uh, with the element c at element b we have less flux linkage of leakage flux here we have shown our leakage flux as well as mutual flux also so we can see that uh, with b element we have less linkage of flux and with element a that is at the outermost side we have least linkage of flux so we know that uh, reactance is purely dependent on the linkage of the leakage flux so reactance of element c will be highest and element a that is at the outer side we have less reactance so during starting condition because of reactance is less most of the current will pass through the outer element and outer element is so designed with higher resistance so we will get a higher starting torque as we go on increasing the speed frequency will reduce and the reactance will reduce so in the inner elements resistance is less so during training condition most of the current will pass through the inner uh, inner elements and we will have less resistance at the inner side and efficiency will not be compromised so this way by using both the method we can achieve higher starting torque without compromising our efficiency so i think it is uh, sufficient thank you for watching my video i must stop here keep watching my video thank you thank you very much